and Sunny Talk Spurs, and today you could probably tell by the title I am not a happy bunny because Fabrizio Romano, he's here we go, Vicario from Empoli, who looks like he's set to be our number one goalkeeper going into the new season. And it's just a mistake. I'm really, I'm really worried because, I mean, I don't know Vicario. Apparently, he has had a good season at Empoli. But he's just... David Raya was there. The David Raya deal was literally on the table. He wanted to come to the club. You know, he said comments about, you know, he, he really wants to win titles and play in Europe. Obviously, I'm not sure if he's going to do that at Tottenham. But they all agreed. It's all there. Just pay the money. What I don't understand is why we don't see him as a good valuation. I actually think 40 million for a modern Premier League goalkeeper is actually a really good deal. I just... It's, Dan, it's Daniel Levy written all over it trying to get a cheap deal for a goalkeeper. You know, he's got a goalkeeper now for half the price, but he's not Premier League proven. I've now got to go and watch Empoli highlights to see if this guy is any good. It's just... I, I just can't fathom it. You know, you've got people are valuing David Rao at 40. This guy's 20. For 50, you can get an Arna. I don't think we'd tempt him away, though. And for 70, you get Mike Mignan. I just think for that extra bit of money, we might as well give it a go. I'm hoping there's there's a small part of me that thinks maybe, you know, Larice leaves, and then, obviously, maybe Fraser Forster gets moved on, and we're hopefully signing both of them. You know, Vicario as the backup, and then maybe David Rare as the starter. But I can't really see that happening either, because, you know, they're both of a similar age. And with goalkeepers, you tend to have your sub ones a little bit older. Uh, and then the main one is a little bit younger. But I just... It is so Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. It's unreal. I just, I just can't believe it. When I saw the Here We Go from Fabrizio, I, I literally... You know, head was in my hands. Contract until 2028. All the personal terms have yet to be... You know, they've been agreed... But, you know, just the last few bits to do medicals and all that stuff. But 19 million euros. <sighs> you know, Arsenal paid around that for um, Aaron Ramsdale. He's obviously gone on to be a good goalkeeper for them after a double back-to-back -back relegation. But Vicario, I just... It stinks a little bit of, you know, is Fabio Paratici still cooking something in the background and got his, you know, he's he's given his little black book to Daniel Levy and he's gone down and gone, oh, Serie A players, let's tick them off, let's tick them off, you know. I've seen today we're linked to another Serie A centre-back. Why do we keep going there? Especially Italian nationals. I don't think, apart from Gianfranco Zola and Paolo Di Canio, I can't think of an Italian national who's been good in the Premier League. Di Matteo as well. It's... I'm I'm just really worried. I'm just so worried. I'm ho I hope I'm going to be able to eat my words afterwards because, you know, hopefully he hits the ground running and he's he's a confident you know ball playing goalkeeper. But I'm yet I'm yet to see. You know, uh, Brentford go and sign Flecken. I'd rather him. But maybe he like he might be more proven. I don't know. But even controversially, and I said this last night to a few friends, I'd rather keep Larice. I know Larice has been prone to a mistake, but I still think we might as well keep him to the end of his deal and maybe believe Vicario in. Maybe that's the plan in hand. But I I'm just very, very shocked at this one. I just really think... It just, you know, I'm thinking of Jack Grealish. I'm thinking of William. I'm thinking of Berahino, although that one, I'm glad we didn't complete that deal. Of deals where we're, you know, we're being laughed out of the boardroom, basically. Like, Daniel Levy's coming in with silly offers. And apparently with the David Rare deal, it's only a couple of million in it. You know, all the ter personal terms have been agreed. Like, what, what do we think? What, what do we think? Like, and then I see rumours about James Madison, and I'm sitting there with, you know, glass half empty, thinking, well, this isn't going to happen. Newcastle will get him, but then obviously there's our other rumours suggesting that Newcastle, because of FFP, they can't do Tonali and they can't do James Madison because they'll breach regulations or whatever they are. But I just can't see that happening. I just can't see a world where we're just going to fork up the money for a James Madison or maybe a Harvey Barnes in the double deal because you're looking at probably £90 million. 
And we just won't do that. To just Tottenham never do that. So yeah, you'll have to let me know if anyone watching this has seen Vicario or can talk about Empoli, if he's any good. I mean, there's so many good choices for Serie A goalkeepers. I mentioned a few earlier. And we've gone for him. It, it just, you know, the mind does boggle with Tottenham Hotspur. So that's my thoughts on Vicario. What do you make of him as a deal? Are you gutted that David Raya didn't sign? Should we be punching even higher? Looking at Mike Magnan and Nana? I think that's a bit deluded, but that's just me. But if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. New channel, Sunny Talk Spurs. I've been your boy, Sunny, and I'll speak to you guys later. Ciao.